In San Francisco, more than 600 teachers and aides called out of work on Tuesday as one of the city's largest teachers unions is raising concerns about staffing and a lack of a testing strategy. United Educators of San Francisco set to meet with the district today as a petition calling for a sick out is now circulating among its members. Meanwhile, for the second day in a row, public school students in Chicago will not attend classes. Their schools are closed. School officials have not been able to come to terms with the teachers union on COVID-19 safety measures as the Omicron variant surges. The union voted earlier this week to refuse to return to in-person class until the city agrees to implement more coronavirus procedures. Join us now, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Mayor Lightfoot, thanks for being with us this morning. You've got something like 350,000 kids in your city who can't go to school today, couldn't go to school yesterday because they are closed. The union says it wants from you either uh, that they want cases to substantially subside, you have no control over that, of course, or an agreement for more safety protocols with the district. What do you take that to mean? What more could you be doing to get these schools open? Well, look, I want to be clear. We've done a tremendous amount uh, both last school year and this year, school year. We put in over $100 million uh, in uh, COVID mitigation, everything from retrofitting classrooms, ventilation, HEPA filters, uh, partitions, of course, masks, hand sanitizers. Every school has a safety committee. We did all of these things. And we started school in the midst of the Delta surge, as you well know. What we want is for the uh, Chicago Teachers Union leadership to come to the table in good faith, stop moving the goalposts, and forge an agreement. We've been at the table with the CTU every week since June of last year. But fundamentally, uh, this doesn't have anything to do with what we're experiencing right now in our city. We know from studies, we know from uh, everything else, that schools are the safest place for kids to be because of the mitigations and controls that happen during the school day. Where we have seen uh, any cases is because of what's happened outside of the classroom. We have 92% of our teachers and staff that are vaccinated. We're working hard every single day to get more and more of our students vaccinated. Where this teachers union could be a partner with us is in pushing and educating of parents and students to get vaccinated. They have chose to yeah. do this unilateral action that is doing nothing but harming children, harming their families, disrupting our system at a time when we need everybody to be unified and we need our kids in school for in-person learning. As we know what happens when, yeah. go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just gonna say, as you state correctly, Mayor Lightfoot, schools are the safest places we have in our society right now. Data has proven that. It's not March of 2020 when we realized we had to shut down, we didn't have vaccines. Let's see what this looks like across the country. And the membership of the union is more than 90% vaccinated. That's the teachers have all done the right things. They were helped to the front of the line as they should have been. They got vaccinated. It's safe for them. So how do you read this action? As you say, kids are being hurt by this. They have to stay home. Schools are safe places for them. They're warm places. They're places where there's a meal. Most importantly, there's places where they learn and grow. So how do you read this action from the union? Well, unfortunately, I think the only way to read it as the union trying to politicize the pandemic, which is really incredibly sad. Look, what do you, what does that mean, you, Mayor Lightfoot? What do they get out of that? What it, what it gets is they get to try to flex their power, but they do it at the expense of our children. They do it at the expense of our families. We know that when we were fully remote uh, previously, 100,000 of our kids lost contact and were disengaged from the system. We saw in the elementary schools the failure rate during remote learning triple from what it was. We saw the toll of trauma and social emotional harm uh, to students across um, our system. So this is about politics. It's not about the pandemic. Because yeah. if it was about the pandemic, we'd be working together to get more of our students vaccinated. We'd be working together uh, to deal with the testing issues, which we are continuing to work on, and we will put more testing and make that available to our families. But fundamentally, the absolute wrong thing to do right now is to band the science and the data that tells us unequivocally that our schools in person are the best place for our students to be. So we're drawing a line, enough is enough. I'm tired of the Groundhog Day um, uh, yeah. appearance of everything that goes on with the Chicago Teachers Union leadership. We need partnership, we don't need conflict right now. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.